it is a uh, moment of uh, great joy and pride for me to chair uh, a meeting which is organized for uh, hearing uh, uh, professor alex lecture uh, in memory of durga bai deshmukh uh, this is an occasion to which uh, i was looking forward to uh, because uh, apart from the various facets of his uh, uh, personality and academic uh, achievements uh, brought out by uh, nitananda in his uh, introductory remarks uh, uh, he has a uh, dr alag professor alag has a, a special uh, role to role had played a special role in uh, shaping me, my own career i i owe uh, my academic uh, life uh, uh, very much uh, to his uh, kindness and consideration as a vice chancellor uh, he allowed me to continue teaching till i reached the permissible age of retirement of a professor so all together i had the honor of teaching in jawaharlal nehru university for about 8 years and this was uh, uh, almost entirely due to professor alak so you can imagine uh, how what a debt of uh, gratitude i owe to him it is a uh, uh, very difficult for me to summarize uh, what he has said it is also not necessary because it was very clear cut uh, but uh, a few of the takeaways uh, from his uh, lecture i can mention uh, he is in favor of uh, agricultural reform uh, but uh, he would like it to be brought about uh, in a phased planned and uh, well organized manner uh, the reform that has taken place uh, in indian agriculture has not uh, followed this uh, pattern uh, his uh, other important point in line by him is that uh, uh, in thinking of agriculture reform uh, one should not uh, think of uh, one size uh, uh, you know, fitting all uh, for different uh, agricultural zones or different agriculture products uh, uh, the outline and thrust of agricultural reform should be different and uh, one point that he has very effectively uh, made is that uh, for the grain producing region that is uh, punjab haryana and western up uh, Uh, msp uh, and procurement is of crucial importance and uh, uh, there is no question of uh, uh, you know this being compromised uh, another important point that he has got out is that uh, uh, there is no choice between agricultural investment and spending resources uh, for subsidizing for the poor uh, according to him uh, these choices must be combined with uh, a much greater emphasis on agriculture investment but always uh, uh, devoting some resources for subsidizing uh, the Uh, food security needs uh, of the poor 
uh, we think that this can be done because uh, uh, partly by diverting the resources uh, that are now being filtered away for uh, 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 basically uh, providing resources uh, to uh, entrepreneurs uh, uh, who are responsible for the uh, heaviest uh, accumulation of uh, non-performing essays of the banks. Uh, Officer Alag has dealt very elaborately with the trade side of agriculture reform, uh, both domestic and international trade side. And he has shown uh, a remarkable grasp of uh, uh, the negotiations in the WTO on agriculture uh, and uh, the different phases uh, uh, of uh, in which uh, India's position has uh, unfolded in this negotiation. <laughs> I think uh, uh, I was uh, uh, in Geneva uh, when uh, uh, the uh, Uruguay round of trade negotiation was being considered informally among the delegates. And I, and I recall very distinctly that the main purpose uh, was uh, uh, for the United States uh, to be able to make a dent in the common agricultural, agricultural policy of the EU uh, in order to carve out a market for itself uh, where it was uh, in competition with the EU. That was seemed to be the almost the entire purpose of the Uruguay round of negotiation in the beginning. Most of the informal discussions were centered on this issue. But as uh, things evolved, what we found that uh, U.S. was uh, able to make uh, a very small dent in the common agricultural policy of the European Union. Uh, and ultimately, it has to side with the uh, EU in trying to uh, protect its own subsidy regime. And uh, uh, instead of being a EU versus uh, US uh, uh, initiative, uh, it, uh, this issue was also uh, turned into a north-south uh, uh, issue. Uh, I also recall that uh, uh, among the agreements uh, that uh, uh, were reached uh, and negotiated, uh, we did not pay uh, the attention that agriculture deserved in the negotiations on agriculture. Uh, we were uh, uh, more uh, uh, inclined to uh, safeguard our position in the area of trips, trims, uh, uh, services. Uh, we uh, tried to justify the agricultural package uh, uh, by uh, giving arguments which were not entirely based on facts. And one of them, very important among them, was uh, that uh, uh, India uh, uh, did not uh, subsidize and therefore, uh, uh, there was no question of uh, Indian subsidies being brought to question in the uh, negotiation. But very soon we realized uh, that it was a false assumption. And now we are being uh, uh, put under tremendous pressure by the major developed countries uh, on account of our subsidization policy. And the most important among them is, are the subsidies for the poor farmers, uh, for, the, uh, for, for protecting livelihood. Uh, I think uh, uh, these aspects, uh, uh, you know, were not uh, uh, 
seen through at that stage of the negotiation and which has gradually emerged and which we are grappling with uh, today. So basically, uh, at this stage uh, in our meeting, uh, this is all that I want to uh, say. Uh, I would uh, uh, join uh, Professor Alang in uh, taking advantage of this occasion to pay tribute to the memory of uh, uh, Professor uh, Tajamul Haq, uh, one of uh, our most eminent uh, agriculture economists uh, that we had. And uh, uh, as Professor Alag has said, uh, one who empathized with the underbelly of Indian agriculture. Uh, those who are working on the margins of the agricultural sector to ache out their bigger living. Uh, he was, he stood for them, he fought for them, and uh, it is therefore natural to remember him on this occasion. Uh, with these words, uh, I would like once again to say how much elated I am to have uh, Professor Alag with us this uh, evening and uh, express my deep gratitude to him for uh, accepting our invitation to deliver the lecture at a very short notice and preparing the speech and delivering it the text within three four days after that i mean that is the real mark of a academic and scholar uh, uh, um, and you know uh, and that's why uh, i think that uh, our choice of uh, uh, imposing this burden on him at this short notice was uh, uh, quite uh, uh, correct. And uh, uh, as I said, that uh, we are most grateful uh, for his acceptance of our uh, invitation and for his having delivered this speech. Thank you. Now, uh, I shall request. Uh, uh, Professor Manoranjan Mohanty to propose a vote of thanks. I, I, I would uh, just want one minute before that. I want to make yes. it very clear that Professor Muchkun Dubey became a professor in the JNU after a regular selection committee where he competed with other scholars and a very outstanding selection committee selected him as a professor. So, I have to be given no thanks for that. He richly deserved it. And both the JNU, uh, the JNU benefited from him. And I hope he enjoyed his tenure at GNU. A great professor and a great university. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you sir. According to